I won't hesitate no more, no more. This cannot wait. I'm sure there's no need to complicate our time. It is sure it is a thing. I'm yours. And that the whole of the Jewish people is responsible for one another. When one Jew sins or does something wrong, you are also responsible, as Midrash tells us. Um, we're fortunate enough to live in the United States of America, which is one of the best countries for the Jews in the history of the world. Um, we have an incredibly disproportional amount of um, Jewish representatives in our government, and something like 20% of Congress, 10 to 20% of Congress is Jewish, despite us only being 1% of the population. So the uh, American Jewish community has a lot of control over American politics. Why should we discriminate others based on religion? Because, I mean, we have been persecuted so many times in the past. Just because the Germans have they slaughtered six million of us, does that mean that Israel's Jewish state should boycott Germany? Or no, Israel and Germany are extremely good friends. If we hold grudges against everyone that has done something wrong to us in the past, it's not going to help us at all. And what happens when Jews stick together and don't help anyone else outside their group, it doesn't help you at all. And my poem's entitled, What About Peace? Um, how would you recognize good without bad? But why does it have to be so extremely sad? War is fought over gold, power, and land. But proof the world's greed has gotten out of hand. Religion inspires morals, hope, and delight. Yet it causes division and so many to fight. Stress, anxiety, depression, and more are mental states that cause an internal war. Children who gossip, whisper, and lie are the reason that many go home and cry. People want extravagance, money, and fame, but if they took a step back, it wouldn't seem the same. What if people cared and respected others, kept open minds to hear one another? What if we all were a puzzle piece, working towards a world where all were at peace? What about peace? What about peace? I know exactly how you feel. I was you. But I swear, as long as you let people help, it gets better. Your heart feels a little less heavy, and you can eat. Pain isn't that painful, and flowers are no longer reminders of what you have lost, but signs of your bright future. But first, you have to let someone in. You've built a wall around yourself, but we have to chip away at it, piece by piece. There is, somewhere, there is someone out there who loves you or is going to fall in love with you. And you have to remember that. You are loved. You are cared about. You will get through this. You matter. But most importantly, I am a proud Jew. And neither you nor anyone else is going to tell me who or how I should be or what to believe. Because I, I believe in magic. And that's it. Tragic? Maybe. But you'll see when everything I touch turns to gold and behold, I am Midas. So please, don't be my Judas and sacrifice me to mine enemies. To stand by me and be my friend, and together maybe we can walk on the ways of Hashem. Because in the end, nobody wants to be alone. And really all you have to do is apologize, to say you're sorry. You know, to fall in love truly was all I could think. My heart's been aching since the day I had to say goodbye. He said, please don't cry, I'll see you again. Don't be sad, don't pick up your chin. When you cry yourself to sleep, I'll be by your side. Please don't cry, as long as you remember me, I'll stay in your heart. Please don't cry when you're sad and weak, I'll be there to kiss you on your cheek. Don't cry, it's just a good advice. Please don't cry.